like, share, subscribe. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back. Now, there are some geometry problems on the TSI, and here's one example. Uh, we've got a cylinder. It says the formula for the volume of the right circular cylinder is shown. You won't have to memorize this for the test. Really, there will be very few formulas that you really need to know um, to, be, uh, to be able to be successful on this. This is not one of them. You don't need to memorize this one. But anyway, it says R, which is the radius, is 2B. Okay, I might make a note of that here. R is 2B. B or not 2B? It is 2B. Okay, and then scrolling back down here, it says the height, or h, is 5b plus 3. Okay. What is the volume of the cylinder in terms of b? So really, this is just going to be a matter of us substituting these two expressions into the volume formula and then probably simplifying. So let's start here, and we'll say that volume is pi r squared h okay times the height so pi times the radius squared times the height and let's go ahead and substitute in our expressions in terms of b really don't need the picture here now that i'm thinking about it because all we're going to do is just substitute let's just copy and paste this um, for r we're going to write 2b make sure you put that in parentheses that could be a place where most people get it wrong i would think is forgetting the parentheses there and only squaring the b, but you got to square the 2 as well. Then for the height, that's 5b plus 3. Okay, so at this point, we're, we've got our expression in terms of b, but notice how none of the answers kind of look like this, and that's because all of these have this term being distributed into the set of parentheses. Now, before I distribute this, I think what I want to do is actually simplify it a little bit, okay? So, 2b squared would be 2b times 2b. 2 squared is 4, and b squared is just b squared. Now, usually, you'll write the pi after the whole, the, uh, the integer coefficient here. So, I'm going to just move this pi over, and I'm allowed to do that because multiplication is what we call commutative. And the order doesn't matter. A times B is the same as B times A. So now I've got this term that I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So now I'm ready to do the distributive property here. I'm going to take this entire term. It looks pretty big, but I'm going to multiply that by both 5B and by 3. Okay, so 4 times 5 would be, let me just delete all this, 4 times 5 is 20. There's nothing to multiply the pi by, so it's just going to remain pi. And then b squared times b is going to be b cubed. That's the first term. And then the second term is what I'll get when I multiply 4b squared, 4 pi b squared by 3. 4 times 3 is 12, so I get plus 12 pi b squared. All right, that should be my answer. Not a whole lot more that I could do to simplify this. I'm really not even seeing anything. So let's see if our answer choices uh, agree. And yep, our answer choice is right here, choice B. Well, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.